Now we go to this next problem. Lars company produces a single product. It sold 25,000 units last year with the following results. So we have sales 625, variable cost 375, fixed cost 150 for a total of 525. So net income before tax would be 100,000, income tax 40,000, net income 60,000. In an attempt to improve its product in the coming year, Lars is considering replacing a component part in its product that has a cost of 2.5 with a new and better quality costing 4.5. A new machine will also, needed, will also be needed to increase plant capacity. The machine would cost 18,000 with a useful life of 6 years and no salvage value. The company uses a straight line depreciation method on all plant assets. If Lars wishes to maintain the same contribution margin ratio after implementing the changes, what selling price per unit of product must it charge next year to cover the increased material cost? So, in here, actually, uh, we only need to determine the contribution margin, the current contribution margin, which is, we have the sales of 625,000. So, on per unit, we have that at 625 divided by 25,000, we have 25, then our variable cost is 375 per unit, that is 375 divided by 25,015. So our contribution margin is at 10, or the ratio is 10 divided by 25, we have Contribution margin ratio is 10 divided by 25, 40%. Now, we need to, we need, we will increase our variable cost by, from, because it has, the old item is 2.5 and the new item is, the new material is 4.5, so they have a difference of 2. So, we will increase the variable cost by 2 per unit. So we will have a 17 of uh, 17 pesos of variable cost. Now, as mentioned, if this is the contribution margin ratio is 40%, then our variable cost ratio would be 60% to arrive sales of 100%. So now that 17, we divide that by variable cost ratio of 0.6. This would be our new selling price, 28.33. Next would be computation of indifference point. What is indifference point? This is the point in an equation or in a situation wherein selecting one option over the other would not make that much of a difference. So, to illustrate this situation, BM Motors Inc. employs 40 sales personnel to market its line of economy automobiles. The average car sells for 1,200,000 and the 6% commission is paid to the salesperson. BM Motors is considering a change to a commission arrangement that would pay each salesperson a salary of 24,000 per month plus a commission of 2% of the sales made by that salesperson. The amount of total car sales at which the two expense structures would be indifferent is, now in here, uh, it is mentioned that the current scenario is at uh, it, it's at we're in sales, so 1,200,000 of the car sales multiplied by the commission, multiplied by sales, multiplied by commission of 6% is the current situation. Now, they want it to become in such a way that the 1,200 
multiplied by the sales multiplied by a commission uh, they would only give 2% commission then they would deduct a they would have also a uh, salary of 24,000 per month for sales personnel but how much how many sales personnel is that 40 so we have 24,000 times 40 times 40 we have 960,000 so they would want this uh, they would want to determine at which quantity of car sales would this uh, structure be indifferent or equal actually the cost would be equal so now we set s as the car sales that we have so in here we have that car sales as well since that is the amount that we are looking for currently we only have six percent commission on the car sales we want to make it two percent commission plus nine hundred sixty thousand of fixed costs so to further this computation we have uh, one million two hundred multiplied by six percent that is seventy two thousand still multiplied by s equal to one million two hundred thousand times two percent that is twenty four thousand s plus nine hundred sixty thousand so we move twenty four thousand there seventy two thousand s minus twenty four thousand s is equal to nine sixty thousand so seventy two thousand minus twenty four thousand we get forty eight thousand s is equal to nine sixty thousand divided by forty eight thousand so your sales quantity would be nine sixty divided by forty eight thousand twenty that is twenty cars so will twenty cars uh equate to costs being equal in this scenario let's try it now 1000 1,200,000 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 6% that would be this 1,200,000 times 20 times 6% that is 1,440,000 now we have the proposed option wherein 1,200,000 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 2% plus 960,000 we have 1,200,000 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 2% 480 that is 480 plus 960,000 we have 1 million 440,000 so they are indeed equal now what would be the significance of this amount that we have of these 20 cars as in difference point in first situation wherein they have pure variable costs it is better to have uh, it is better to have that scheme the purely variable cost if car sales would be lower than 20 well, if car sales would increase more than 20, then it is better to have this fixed cost scheme. Why is that so? For example, sales is at 19 cars. We have 1,200,000 times 19 times 6%. We have times 19 times 6%. We have 1,368,000 in costs here. While for the other one, we have 1,200,000 times 19 times 2% plus 960 we have 1 million 200 times 19 times 2% plus 960 1416 because of this scenario the second scenario having more fixed costs uh, the lower the the lower the sales become the more will uh, the more will the uh, 
will the cost remain at a certain high level because it has a minimum ceiling which is 960,000 where in here there is no fixed cost well if sales are increasing actually it would increase more significantly the con the the contribution margin would increase more significantly wherein costs would not increase that much because after 20 units actually cost uh, cost on the proposed option would be lower than the current option so let's try 21 21 cars so for that one two multiplied by 21 multiplied by six percent we have multiplied by 21 multiplied by six percent we have one five one two remember these are costs huh for the proposed plan we have one two times 21 times two percent plus 960 so we have one two times 21 times two percent plus 960 that is 1464 so you see the cost is better on the second option if sales are increasing or sales is more than 20 cars so actually that's it for our for our discussion so actually this 24 million pertains to uh, this 24 million pertains to 20 cars 20 cars multiplied by 1.2 million that is 24 million that ends actually our discussion for cost volume profit analysis kindly respond to the attendance form so that's it